So we're going to clean up some of these things. This basket is stuff that needs to get put away. This is nail polish that needs to go into my spreadsheet and get put away. That's stuff for an upcoming video. This is makeup I've been trying and that's just lotion and other stuff. Um, I'm also going to clean out my makeup that's been sitting on my desk that I haven't really changed out in quite a while. We're going to go through that, put some of that stuff away, just kind of look and play with makeup. So you guys want to uh, clean up with me, then just keep watching. This sciatic, I'm just going to put that away. The rest of that is all bathroom stuff. And then I have some nail polish to put away. What? My iPad is dying. I don't want to need a new iPad. But it was charged this morning, like two hours ago, and now it's at 29% and I haven't used it, so. Good. Anyway, I'm gonna put on some YouTube and clean up. thing that needs to happen is a serious nail polish de-stash but it's so hard there's no like good angle for this this is ghost lighting i'm sorry i'm also wearing this oversized chunky super comfy sweater the next thing i'm going to do is go through this thing this is the um, container that sits on my desk and this has like a lot of everyday makeup things i use all the time lip balms my kind of go-to lip colors um, palettes I want to use and then this this whole drawer down here is supplies. I need to like change that around. I probably won't discuss all of this but um, I just need to switch it out and put some new things in here because I I think that this is so convenient but it also makes me get stuck in a rut and just use the same things all the time. So this is an umbrella like leg. That's just and then this little thing sits on top usually. And these are true everyday things I've been trying. I don't need five setting sprays up here right now, so we're gonna probably remove some of those. I wanna finish some, this Rose Wet n Wild one. I really like how it smells and I think it has a nice mist. Um, I don't ever notice any extension of my makeup using these, but I think that they're nice to kind of set everything down, remove the powdery look from any you know setting powder or anything like that. But I have uh, these two that I've been using. This one I'm trying to use up because it's about half, half empty right now. This is the matte version and, and I do think this helps to mattify. I don't think it's anything you know, crazy, but I like using it. It has a nice uh, nozzle spray. I, I think that the spray on this is really nice. I like the double lid, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little lid to protect the nozzle on top of the big lid, but it's all one piece, so you don't have to lose two lids. I'm not one that loses lids anyway. That was difficult to say, but I think that's nice. So I'm gonna keep these out. But this e.l.f. Matte Blotting Mist with Kaolin Clay, It, I was just so intrigued by it. It says it's a blotting mist and I had to try it. I don't, I don't know. I have to try it some more. I just wanna keep two out. I think for now I'm going to put the Milani one back. I'm going to try to finish this guy and then uh, use this one as my like blotting one just just to see like what happens, you know? So this highlight I have been using nonstop and I love it. It's the Mali Effortlessly Airbrushed. Um, mine's broken. This is really beautiful, but I have to use a different one because I have some beautiful highlighters that are just not getting loved. So I'm going to swap that one out. I'm also going to swap out this Wet n Wild bronzer. This is the Sunset Striptease. It is really pretty. I think this one is a little too dark for me, um, especially right now I have, you know, zero color on my skin because the sun hasn't made an appearance in months. But I think that this will be really pretty in the summer. I like the color and the tone, but for right now I think it's just a little too dark for me. And I'm kind of a bronzer newbie, so that was totally my fault. But. Elf Poreless Putty Primer. I've only used this once, and 
I did like it. I kind of think that this made me a little bit oily, but like I said, I only used it one time, so I need to put that to use more. I should put this blush away because this is all I've been using, but I just love it. This is an Essence blush. It's called Bury Me Up. I love the Essence blushes. They are some of my favorite of all time, not just from the drugstore, including this old wrecked looking one, the Justin Bieber blush. My friend Heather sent this to me, and for quite a while I was wearing this because I wanted that sun-kissed, fresh air, cold weather, like really rosy cheek blush look. Um, I haven't been doing that quite as much lately. I do, I think I just wanted to look like I wanted to be outside, but I don't. Not right now. I do want to be outside right now. I, it's cold. I want it to be warm. But I think I'm going to put this one back and pull out another one because I have some beautiful blushes that I want to use. Um, that includes this flower blush bomb. I'm going to leave this guy out because I love this blush. It's beautiful. The eyelid primers I have right now are the CoverGirl Lid Lock Up. This is okay. It's not bad. I don't love that it has a doe foot applicator just because I'm so used to applying my eyeshadow primer with my fingers that that seems weird to me. But, you know, I still like it. And then the Marc Jacobs Undercover Coconut Eye Primer. I bought this at TJ Maxx. It was like $8. That's why I bought it. And I've been using this and I quite like it, so I'm going to keep those two out. For face primers, this is the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer Perfecting Base. And this is a sample. My friend Heather sent this to me. I really think that this is really lovely, except it pills on my skin. And I think that might be the moisturizer that I'm using. I'm currently using the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream, whatever. So I'm going to put this away until I don't need to use such a hydrating moisturizer. Because I think it's the moisturizer. So I want to try it when I don't need such an intense moisturizer. I don't know. Maybe that's... Maybe I'm being wrong. Maybe I'm being wrong. The Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Primer. I quite like this. It is very nice to put a cooling primer on. I don't know why because I don't ever feel like my face is hot, but it's very nice to put a cooling primer on and I, I kind of just want to finish this up. I've got, you know, like half left, so I'm going to leave that out. The Cover FX Blurring Primer. This is really fabulous for blurring pores. The two open mascaras I have right now are polar opposites for price points. The Lancome Hypnos Drama. I love this mascara. It is so expensive. Uh, this is one that I opened on Nicest Things Day. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's on my Instagram. I will leave the link to Nicest Things Day on my in the description box. But uh, it's very aptly named. It's a very dramatic mascara. I like the wand. It's quite a wet formula. It's starting to dry out. <laughs> but I'm going to keep this out because I'm going to finish this. This is the Essence The False Lashes Mascara Extreme Volume and Curl. And this is the one I've been reaching for daily. There you go. I like the wand. It's, I would say, a little bit more dry than wet, but it's not dry, if that makes any sense. It gives nice uh, volume, and nothing keeps my lashes curled, so I don't ever think about that. But these four are probably my favorite eyeliners of all time, and none of them are black. <laughs> The black eyeliner that I'm using right now is the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal with Iconic Liquid Pencil. And I like this, but coal eyeliner always transfers on me. I'm kind of just trying to use it. I need to sharpen it, but I'm going to leave that out because, you know, I need a black eyeliner sometimes. But the one I pretty much use almost every single day is from NYX. It's the Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, definitely a Turn On, Waterproof Extreme Shine Eyeliner. Oh my gosh. In the color golden olive it's this beautiful it's a golden olive color it's fabulous this is basically what i use as black eyeliner you know i can't do anything normal so i have to have a green eyeliner as my black eyeliner but that one's staying out this one is from tarte the skinny smolder eyes this one i'm trying to use up because it's starting to finally dry out i've had this eyeliner for so long but it still applies beautifully so i'm i need to use that one more to to finish it off the Bare Minerals, I think this is round, yeah, round the clock eyeliner in 5 a.m. This is a really beautiful champagne color, and I love this when I'm wearing purple eyeshadow. 
I just think that this is a really nice contrast between like a really plummy purple shadow and or yeah plummy purple shadow and then the champagne eyeliner and I'm almost done with this as well. Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner in alkaline. I love this color so much. It is so beautiful. It makes my eyes look super green. I love the Urban Decay pencils. I've talked about them ad nauseum. We're done. I know. Two powders up here. This is the Becca Hydro Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. That super weird powder that feels wet when you touch it. I don't get how it works but I think it's awesome. And this is perfect for setting under eye concealer because it is so hydrating. I don't wear under eye concealer every single day, but when I do, I definitely like to set it with this. This is a new one that I haven't tried yet. It's from e.l.f. This is the Matte Blotting Powder. Um, and I just, I, ha I have, this is the first time I've even swatched it, so. I haven't even tried this yet. I should probably put this. I'm gonna leave that out so I can try it. The Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I do like this. I feel like this is a little bit too pink for me. It's it's just slightly too pink, but it's very creamy. It blends out nicely. I do I do like it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that out. And then the concealers that I'm using are my L'Oreal ones over there. I leave it stood up so I because it's getting low. <laughs> the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Corrector. I complete coverage serum concealer i love how creamy this is it feels hydrating and it, it feels like a serum it feels so nice this color is a little bit too yellow for me the wet n wild photo focus concealer i have the color bare neutral and this is actually the perfect color for like my neck and chin i do like this concealer but i keep saying it feels very dry to me um so that's that's kind of weird because it's brand new I, it wasn't sitting around for very long i feel like i have to go over this with like a creamier product so i usually put a little bit of this over it just to because this is also a little bit light and then this is a little bit too yellow so i kind of almost mix them or or layer them because i feel like just one is not like this is this is too light and not hydrating and then this is too yellow and well maybe there's too yellow so together they work well just frizz taming hair shine sheets oh i didn't know that one there well i guess i'll leave those out. i have these two shadows one is from essence one is from colourpop i was comparing these in a video i am going to um put these away because i am done with that so sad. I bought this container at Target and I had a longer one that I, well actually two longer containers that I put in my kitchen utensil drawer and I was going to get a third because it would fit perfectly in there and they don't sell this container, like this type of container at Target anymore and I'm so annoyed. First world problem. I'm just going to kind of go through the rest of these, pull some things out. I'll probably take out most of this stuff because these are kind of staples, but I'm probably going to rearrange. You don't need to hear me talk through that. This guy right here is possibly my favorite lip color of all time. It's the Tarte Lip Sculptor in the shade VIP. This is my perfect, well not the gloss, but the, I mean the gloss is fine, but I, I wear the lipstick. But it's this color and it's perfect and I love it. I love these Buxom Full On Lip Creams. This is Rose Julep and this is Berry Blast. They're beautiful. And this Fenty Gloss in, uh, Fenty Glow, the original one. It's beautiful. Like, these are my... I don't like saying ride or die. But these are, like, all-time faves. And then a lip mask. Oh, this is another fave. The Bare Minerals 
what do you call it? Bare Minerals something something in Weekend. I love this color. Oh, these are all of my mascaras that are not cruelty free that I am trying to go through next and then some eyeliners. So uh, we have Maybelline L'Oreal, the Sephora Curl, Outrageous Curl, and um, that's why those are in here. So those will stay in here just because I want to go through those. Same with this Maybelline Curvitude Liner. I like it, but it's not cruelty free. Same with this Benefit. I can use this. What is this? Oh, that actually looks like it's a dark enough color. Usually when I get brow products, it's like a taupe or light brown. And I'm like, girl, look at these eyebrows. Ooh, oh, I forgot about this. The ColourPop Brow Gel. Oh, I should put that in there. Same with this uh, ColourPop Brow Boss. I do like this. I just, I just am really lazy about eyebrows. These two are beautiful eyeliners. The another NYX in Esmeralda, this fabulous green. And then the Flower Vinyl Eyes in Purple Quartz. Those are beautiful, but we need to get some new things in here. Oh, and this, I need to finish this. Ooh, is this gone? Is this gone off? One off. Two more beautiful. The white one I'll keep out because I do use that for bases and such but the green I'll put away and this uh, I'm just gonna get rid of that I don't want to do that these two palettes I love I I love color pop eyeshadow palettes I'm hard pressed to ever find anything to complain about with any of them. Um, I love these, but I'm going to put these back for now. This BH Cosmetics Royal Affair palette, this is kind of been a go-to for me. There's a lot of nice mattes in here. This shade is a little disappointing because it looks really pretty blue iridescent and then it's it's like a very mild topper. So that one's a little disappointing, but the rest of these I really, really enjoy. I might leave this out just for like a lot of this e.l.f. Modern Metals palette, this palette is amazing. These five mattes, I've, I've mainly used the mattes. The mattes in here are phenomenal. Like, phenomenal. So, I love this for that. I used one of the metal shades in here, which is really funny because it's all about metals. But the mattes are amazing, and uh, I've used this green color and it's very beautiful. I don't know why I'm swatching like this. It's very difficult to swatch at this angle. But I'm going to leave this guy out. Becca <laughs> Wild Honey. One of my favorite blushes of all time. I love this blush. This always stays in here because, because it goes with everything. It's such a neutral pretty color. I, this always stays in here. For Bad Habit Cult Mythos Palette, I was kind of testing this out because um, Shop Hush was having a bunch of sales. I'm not sure if, I don't know what's going on with Shop Hush, but everything on the website is 60% off at time of filming, so I'm not really sure what's happening, but I do like the Bad Habit palettes, but um, I'm not going to use that every day. <laughs> This is from Kiko, and this is a highlighter, and this is super disappointing. I'm not even going to keep that. That's, it, that one's really disappointing. This e.l.f. Oh, I forgot about this. This e.l.f. Bronzed Peach Cream Duo. This is really pretty. I forgot about this. No, I'm leaving that out. This I'm trying to use up, so that's why that's staying in here. The This I can put away because I don't use that right now. I don't need more powders out. Powders out. The... Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher in the color uh, Love Glow. I think that this color is just too light for me because, oh gosh, I don't ever see anything like amazing when I wear this, but it was wicked expensive, so I don't know why I keep it in the box. This I'll probably put away for now. This is the, actually, I don't think I've tried this. Ooh, yeah, no, I'm going to try that. We're going to leave that out. 
and then these two. Kiko Cosmetics um, is hit or miss. I really like their lip products and their nail polishes. I have two of their eye sticks. They are like a cooling eye crayon or something. They are freaking beautiful. Um, you can only purchase it online. I believe they're closing their US or I'm not really sure. It's kind of confusing to shop from Kiko um, if you're in the US, which is a shame because they do have beautiful products. This was a dud, but that was just, that's just a personal preference for me. This is kind of more like a topper. It'd probably be a beautiful eyeshadow topper. I mean, it's very sheer. But it's, I don't know. I don't know. I, I kind of want to give this more. I think I only wore this once and I was in a mood. And I'm going to try that again. Uh, these I'm going to put away for now. But like, look at how beautiful this periwinkle eye crayon is. Who has a periwinkle eye crayon? No one. That's awesome. Do I need three sharpeners in here? This is where I keep my makeup. You've seen this. There's like a coffee in my box cutter. Yeah, all that stuff. I'm going to pick out some newish things, maybe things I haven't used in a while. This is where most of my makeup is. This is like drugstore stuff. There's some face primers and stuff. I think I'm gonna primers. Now I'm going to take some of the stuff that was in this to try basket and put it into my drawers. That way I can kind of use some of the things and not... I don't do my makeup sitting right next to this drawer so I don't often think to come to it. it it's weird. I don't. I'm actually just going to put those in this basket that sits on top. And then I can work them in as I go. This I bought from Kiko. Speaking of Kiko, Kiko is confusing to me. Some of their products I really love and some are very confusing. First of all, this has no name on it or depicts what the color is in any way. This is beautiful, bright purple, but when I squeeze it out, it's kind of oily. I mean, it's real. I'm kind of scared of this. I think I'm gonna pass this on to someone. I, this has been sitting here. It, I bought it on sale for like two dollars, so but that, that confuses me. What is this? Hydrating face primer. A couple more of these Stila glitters. I'm just gonna put all this stuff that I want to try in here. And this gloss from Elf, the Modern Metals lip gloss, is beautiful but I don't really like it so I'm probably going to pass this on and I, I don't really like that. I've used it once or twice. I've used it twice and didn't really care for it either time. This is the lip color called Liquid Matte Lipstick and I've not used this. 
I'm just not really into matte liquid lipstick, so I'm going to get rid of that too. I'm going to pass that on too. That came in the kit, the Modern Metals kit, the eyeshadow, the cheek palette, and then the two lip products. They all came together. I didn't get to choose. This is also nice, but I'm going to put this away because I have several out right now. But I do like the mist on that. The ColourPop Rendezvous palette. Oh, beautiful. You know, I think I didn't put all of these into my spreadsheet, which is unfortunate. And then I have the Viseart Theory palette, and this is just so nice and fancy, I'm kind of scared to use it. Very basic colors, I guess, uh, but I just am scared to use it because it's so expensive. But I probably should. Maybe that'll be my next nicest things day. This Pixie by Petra Orange Red Lip Color. I'll put that to use. And then I have two of the ColourPop Caffeine Lights Zodiac Pigments. The Ram and the Bowl, obviously. Um, I haven't used these at all. But these are... Not that I mind an intense eye look. I don't at all. But um, I don't always want to have bright red eyeshadow when I pick up my daughter from school. So... I haven't put those to the test yet. And these two from LA Girl. I also want to try those in here. It took a lot longer than I was anticipating because I was talking. I think I'm going to call it good here. And uh, the baskets are emptier other than the video idea basket. So that's good. I have refreshed this. It looks neater. It's a little more organized. I feel good about that. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like these types of videos, give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any other videos that you would like to see, let me know. I thought about doing something similar with nail polish. Just kind of chatting, talking about it. Uh, you know, not really like review style. I promise I did sleep last night. It doesn't look like it, but I didn't wear concealer today, so. Okay. Hope you guys have a good day. I'll talk to you later.